Hi, uh, John Wanawa here. It's Monday today, uh, the 12th of October 2015. I'll just uh, 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 show you our new shirt. Uh, the other one has been uh, confiscated as, as uh, uh, exhibit for the police. Uh, unfortunately for them, it's, they've captured the uh, New World Order uh, shirt with the eight-point star badge on the other shirt that's attached to it, that one. Okay, that, that one there is the new one, right, new one. The sheriff of uh, King William, uh, his eight-point star, the St. Um, Patrick's Order, the New World Order is that. Okay, from Ireland, and uh, so that's uh, on our new shirt. Uh, it's over here. Um, where is it? Oh. On this side. Here. Here, you can see here, uh, this is the Moai. Get the Moai seal there. Okay, Moai at the uh, World Rugby Cup match. The Moai is the mana. Hinua, or the mana power of the land, okay? And so that's that seal of God's grace, face of earth law, L-O-R-E, that's our Tahitian, uh, uh, my royal family, okay, my own royal family, and put that together and constructed those for our um, people. Okay, for our family. And this is King William's. So you've got two of the most powerful memorials in the world. And you've got um, King William's seal, him on his horse and his ship of Admiralty in the background. And his uh, St. Patrick's Order with his crown at the top. Okay, so two crowns, that one, and the Maui crown here. Crown of God's law, truth, sovereign, truth of the world, earth, earth God, and man's law. God's law, truth, sovereign, man's law, L-A-W, L-O-R-E, law. Two laws, spirit, war, and um, everything evil in the world, okay, that King William's trying to sort out. And uh, there you see in the background, you see the eight-point star again. The eight-point star, I'm just telling you the story of who we are and why we are displaying for the first time in the world our significant partnership in commerce and Bank of England pound notes under King William's Acts of Westminster Parliament. 1832-1837 and his Declaration of Independence flag, the only one in the world that has this Admiralty Blue Sea, Dark Blue Deep Sea, and has four points of the eight-point star in the four corners of the earth. Okay? Now, Atua Ewa Aotea Limited is our company that's in this registered in New Zealand uh, company's office as being corporate. Now the Pope has got rid of all of the uh, corporate, corporate corporations and trusts. So that means you can take them to court under this. This is still there. It, they can't take this off. Salic law. They cannot remove Hanover. That's him at the top of his coat of arms here, coat of arms there, okay, so that's Hanover at the top, okay, you can see him, Hanover here, there, and you've got Scotland and England and Ireland in the middle there, okay, Ireland, he's the king of Ireland, England and Scotland, Hanover in this coat of arms, like you can see, that's why I'm wearing it, okay. Okay, so that's that one, and this coat of arms on this side, okay, this one, is for King George III, 
King George IV, his son, a father of King George IV, uh, King William IV, and King Ernest Augustus I, is this coat of arms, Salic law, uh, King of Hanover and King of Rome, uh, King of Britain, UK, and the Emperor, the British Emperor, Empire, or Emperor is this one, and the Roman Empire is this one. Okay, King William the Fourth, <coughs> the King of Rome, the Roman em em Empire or Emperor, and the British Emperor. In effect, okay. So you've got you've got the Red Cross here of uh, King George I, Second, Third, Fourth, Fifth, Sixth. King William the Fourth and King Ernest Augustus the First. So you got six and uh, six and two. It's eight kings in this big red cross. Okay, of King George, eight King Georges. Okay, and also of Britain, King of Britain. That's that's eight nine, and King of um, the Rome ten. So really, it's eight. Eight points of eight kings, eight points of seven in the Pacific Islands, Waka in the Pacific, and one for King uh, William the Fourth, the commerce of the sea, of the world, four corners of the earth. Earth. Okay, so this is this this commercial trading bank of England, of UK Britain flag. So why it's in New Zealand hidden? Because the cabinet, the cabinet, the, the New Zealand government cabinet hid it in the cupboard. So if we find that they've been using it, then they're going to lose everything to the king's sheriff. Okay, so the police took my other shirt, they confiscated it, and when they come to the court hearing on the 17th of November next month, I'll have this shirt on. Okay, and They'll have that shirt as evidence, and I'll have this one to whop them on this side of the bar. Okay, so the, the Pope has cut them loose and let them sail back where they came from in the, in the ocean 200 miles out where the captain of the ship is the trustee of uh, their trust company called Auckland District Court. Okay, that's their trust company, corporation, right, in capitals. Auckland District Court right, is a fictitious company that the Pope got rid of and they're still using it in New Zealand law illegally because the Pope did it for all the world. He got rid of it in all the world including New Zealand cannot use those on us. They cannot use those against that. When you flash this in front of them that it this is the new world order over these lands with the United Nations 193 countries army behind this flag right here. Okay, so this is our own Moai Hapu uh, um, Confederation of Chiefs. Okay, that flag, Confederation of Chiefs, and uh, I'm going up to Matari Bay tomorrow like this, dressed up. To explain this, but this video will um, uh, let you see what I mean uh, when we talk about who we are uh, as the um, um, incumbent landowner uh, rent chiefs over these lands, especially uh, when the Queen says she's got 66 million acres of land that uh, uh, all her immigrants are sitting on and only got paper titles of mortgages sitting on the land that the Pope got rid of and ripped them up and threw them away. Okay, so he said get your land back and that's exactly what we did for Cook Street. It's an argument between me with all this on me and the police woman Natalie um, uh, Flower Do Brown Flower Do Brown uh, a natural person with a police uniform on with their badges on it that have no sovereignty, connection, continuity of sovereignty to 
a queen or king. Their queen is gone. I told our judge, their queen is gone. That's why they didn't bring the Bible out to swear on when I went into uh, the dock. Their dock, on their ship, right out 200 miles out, on our land, they rammed it up on our land, forced it by entry, by forced entry, with Canon's law, and uh, the Pope got rid of his laws, the Canon law, the civil law, the Courier law, the UCC law, and <coughs> the um, Admiralty law. The, their Admiralty is gone, but ours remains. Our Admiralty law is this flag of the Salic law, male dominant title holders in Devon, England, Plymouth County, Plymouth County Sheriff, and Moai Crown King William Trust. Okay, we still got our trust. That's what it is here in this flag. We can do what we like with it on our own land. It's up to you uh, to prove who and how got you on the land. Right? Who got you on these lands? Which queen or which king is there still now? And you're floating around with no queen at the moment. And um, uh, so you've got a problem. You've got a problem against the king. Uh, when the queen, your queen, took off out of Westminster and went into EU Parliament, that's falling apart too. So all your fake titles and the limbs, Land Information New Zealand, is now subject to the British titles where they came from in the first place. Okay, you all got here to this country on this flag. Okay, you got here on this flag at 1835 when you arrived here in 1840. Anything before that doesn't count. You cannot claim, anybody in this country cannot claim any title to this land before 1840 because your title is a stupid memorial at Te Te Marae in Waitangi, the 1840 obelisk. Okay, that obelisk that's been put there in 1953, now just after the Queen became Queen in 1952, the racket started. Right, the racket started with our flag. They put in the cupboard this flag. Then away they went with the Union Jack. Okay, the Union Jack is 1902, when it first became independent from Britain, and 1901 in Australia. So Australia uh, has a problem too. Canada has a problem with any significant bank of England with the pound notes. This one, we got our own pound notes, you'll notice that we have them on our uh, website and also on Facebook. That's levy debtor instruments against everyone who has defrauded our, um, our laws. Okay? King William the Fourth laws. So you're going to find yourself in real trouble. Uh, as far as we're concerned, uh, to um, um, answer to that book. Okay, that's the title to 61 Cook Street. I've got a few more books here I put together for that title as well. So we've got all the history that none of you can refute. Even the Ngāti Whātua has no titles to put up against this title that is the first titles 